lithium, renewed interest on the rise? In this presentation, we will be looking at the factors that impact the industry from mine supply through to the demand end user and answering two questions. How has demand supply and lithium price changed over the last five years? And how do we forecast these factors to change over the next five years? Supply of lithium is split almost equally between two vastly different processes, the hard rock drilling and blasting of more traditional mining and brine solution mining, where a liquid is pumped to the surface and concentrated via evaporation over vast ponded areas. Hard rock mining is much faster to produce. It is a predictable and well-known process, unlike evaporation, which can take up to 18 months to complete. The main advantage of brine solution mining is its inherent lower variable cost. Over 75% of worldwide supply is currently dominated by Australia through three hard rock mines and Chile through two brine solution mines. Both countries consume almost zero lithium locally, which highlights one of the key geographical challenges between major supply and current major lithium demand centers of China and South Korea. Global reserves are heavily skewed towards the lithium triangle of Chile and Bolivia, the latter of which has not yet even entered the supply market. Besides of its explosive nature, lithium has been widely used across industry with different applications because of its distinctive atomic and physical properties. Lithium ion batteries perhaps is the most well-known product which use up nearly half of the lithium. According to USGS, lithium ion batteries increased the share of usage from 35% to 46% in last five years. Lithium is also very useful in making ceramics and glass with better coating, strength, and color, and it uses another 27%. Lithium are also used in lubricating greases, manufacturing polymer, casting mock flux powder, air treatments, and medical treatments. The demand on lithium has increased 34% from 2013, and the major different force came from lithium ion batteries with four key factors. First, the global economy is recovered from the global financial crisis. With more income, people are more willing to spend than before. Second, more countries and cities plan to ban petrol and diesel vehicles in coming years. Both factors stimulate the sales of electronics and electric vehicles. Furthermore, battery efficiencies will improve with the advanced technologies, and the cost of manufacturing lithium ion batteries was reduced too. At the same time, there were no major substitutes can totally replace lithium ion batteries. These factors keep the competitiveness of lithium ion batteries. The increasing demand of lithium ion batteries puts the pressure on the demand of lithium, shifting the demand curve to the right in the last five years. Supply of lithium in the last five years. Between 2013 to 2016, quantity supplied of lithium carbonate equivalent increased 21%. Majority of the world's supply came from two Chilean mines operated by SQM and Albemarle and the one spot mean mine in Greenbushes, Australia. Between 2016 and 2017, world's supply increased by approximately 34%, primarily due to the two new Australian mines, Mount Kathleen and Mount Marion, starting production, and also due to the fact that the Argentinian and the Chilean brine mines increased their production as well. Supply of lithium in the last five years, 2013 to 2017, has been impacted by primarily three factors. Number one, weather events near the brine mines in 2015 caused a temporary shortage of supply of lithium from the Chilean brine mines. However, due to the increase of production from the Argentinian and the Australian mines, overall impact to the supply of lithium was minimal. Secondly, reliability of the source of supply is one of the topmost priorities of battery manufacturers in USA and Asia. Major manufacturers established strategic alliances and joint ventures to ensure supply security, which gave confidence in further expansion with sufficient capital and cash flow. 
During 2016 and 2017, due to the demand for a secure supply of lithium, there was an increased adoption of lithium from hard rock mining. The capital-intensive process of hard rock mining caused an upward pressure on price versus quantity supplied. As a result, price elasticity of supply, S1, decreased in 2017 compared to 2016, S0. Lithium price behavior in the last five years. Between 2013 and 2015, there was no major change in supply and demand conditions. Market was in equilibrium A0. In 2016, there was no change in supply. However, quantity supplied increased 21% to meet increasing demand. There was a right shift in demand D1, approximately a 10% increase. As a result, market price equilibrium increased to more than $8,000 per ton which is a 33% increase. In 2017, supply S1 had become more inelastic due to start of production in the hard rock mines Mount Catlin and Mount Marion. Intense need for supply security over the next decade resulted in further increase in demand of 13%, as can be seen in D2. Market price equilibrium E2 increased by about 60% to over $13,000 per ton. There are five key factors to consider when forecasting demand for lithium in the next five years. First, with support from policymakers in over 30 countries on EV targets, total demand for lithium driven by battery production is projected to three times the 2017 level, causing a right shift for the market demand curve. Second, with a wide adoption of solar home system for 140 million unelectrified households, the market demand curve is expected to shift right by 32 kilotons. Third, Given that cobalt is a key complementer to lithium in the current NMC 6.1 productions, if the battery technology shifts to a NMC 8.1 chemistry progresses as quick as expected, there will be no shortage in cobalt for battery productions, leaving demand for lithium un unaffected. Fourth, given that the Leon battery recycling program is far from mature, and that there is no scalable substitute for Leon battery expected to be ready for market in the next five years, there is no significant threat on the market demand for lithium, leaving no additional stress on the market demand curve. So, by the end of this five years period, the demand for lithium is forecasted to grow 105% from the 2017 level. The biggest impact to lithium supply over the next five years is a major increase in supply driven by the expansion of six existing major mines and the introduction of at least seven completely new mines. This will shift the market supply curve continuously to the right, however the rate of change is expected to be greater in the next two years as most of the major projects move into operations. The net result by the end of 2021 will be that global supply will increase by more than three times current levels. De-bottlenecking the production process is set to impact the supply side in future through both technology changes and increasing the options of suppliers to export various concentrated levels of lithium. Furthermore, government inefficiencies, predominantly in South America, have recently showed promise of change which will further de-bottleneck operation. The result of these de-bottlenecking factors is an increase in the market supply price elasticity where the resultant curve will become flatter over the next five years. In terms of the price of lithium in the next five years, the market demand for lithium is expected to increase 105% gradually to 438 kilotons by 2022. On the flip side, the market supply for lithium is expected to increase 229% gradually to 928 kilotons by 2022. Despite of a strong project growth in demand, the aggressive investment response from the supply growth is likely to cause a major surplus when those exceed capacities come online and lead to a decline in price of the 2017 level. This is because expansions and new mines projects are already underway with construction began. Restricting output by one supply without market-wise collective actions will mean only a loss of market share and no impacts on the market price. Therefore, with the market demand project to be clearly less than market supply by 2022, a substantial decline in market price expected. As the market price reduces, both buyer and suppliers will start responding to the movement in price, driving the market to trade at a new equilibrium.